Today I'm going to show you how to delete an object based in a distance with another position, all done with geometry nodes. So let's do it. Let's delete everything and let's create an object, for example, a UV sphere. This will be the object that we want to delete or appear when the distance increase or decrease. So to do this, what we're going to do, first of all, it's create another point to reference. So let's create an empty, for example, a sphere. Now let's go to geometry nodes. Select the sphere and create a new profile. We can close this panel and let's bring the empty here. Let's move the empty first of all. So let's press N and move it in this axis. For example, one meter. Now let's come back here and now I can close this panel. So what I want is that this object disappear if this distance increase or decrease. So how we do that? For example, let's select these two meters and let's come back here. What we have to do is to use, first of all, the late geometry. This is going to delete all the geometry. However, we want to delete only creating a rule. So we need to create something here in selection. So we need to calculate, I'm going to mute this, the distance between this position and this position. So here we have the location, the position of the empty, and now we need the position of the sphere with the node position. And now to calculate the distance between these two, we need vector math and select distance and connect this here and this one here. So this node is calculating the distance between the center of the sphere and the center of the empty. And now we have the distance here, so we can connect this here, however, we need to create a rule. So let's use math. And let's select, for example, less than. And let's connect this here. So now we are saying, let's rebuild this with mute and connect it here. What we are saying now is that the late this geometry, if the distance is less than half meter. So now the distance between the center, because this object is in the center, and this position, this position is two meters, is two meters. So when I decrease this, for example, 0 0.5 is not being delayed because the rule is less than. However, if now I decrease this, it should disappear. Why is that working? Because we need to convert this in an instance because now we are working with points. So it's deleting points. So to convert this an instance, use geometry to instance and select here instance, really important. And now it's disappearing because if you select point, what it's doing is a start to deleting points. So after you convert it to an instance, now this works as a full object. So we created this rule and now the distance is less than 0 0.5, so it's disappearing. However, if I increase this, it rebuilds. And I create a rule, for example, 2 meters. So when the distance is less than 2 meters, delete the object. Let's increase this and now we're going to see after 2 meters is going to appear. So always it's going to disappear when it's less than 2 meters. Or what you can do is the opposite, greater than. What does it mean that? That when it's really close, we can see always the object, but if the distance is greater than two meters, delay the object. So it's like an invisible cycle that if we are inside, we can see this object, but if we go really far away, it disappears. Or we can do the opposite. When you are inside this cycle, this sphere disappear. So you can see with this simple setup, we create this easy rule. If you want to use another object, it's okay. You can use, for example, an icosphere and select here icosphere. Select relative and it will be the same. So you can use the position of another object 
or an empty. I hope you like this video and if you want to learn more, give a like, subscribe and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.